So we're out today to celebrate Arrowleaf Balsam Root, one of the conspicuous flowers of the Metau Valley. When they come out, they are so flamboyant. And the job of these flowers is to attract pollinators, and boy, do they do it well. Um, in one study, 32 species of native bees came to these flowers, but many other pollinators come. You can see beetles on them, you can see little flies on them, and butterflies. Uh, they are really, when you're out here on a good day, these fields are just buzzing with insects. So what we call a flower on these is actually not a flower, it's a composite of flowers. It's a mix of flowers together. And this, this family is a sunflower family, but it's also known as the composite family because each flower is made up of, in this case, 50 to 100 about, maybe 150 flowers all working together. And each individual flower is a very tiny little flower. And that tiny little flower all by itself out here in all this open space would have a terribly hard time attracting pollinators. So by working together, a bunch of tiny flowers all in one mass can be very effective at creating a brilliant, beautiful display that's easily seen and is visited by a lot of visitors. In fact, by working together, they create a flat platform here, which makes it easy for a pollinator to come, to land on that surface, and then to walk around and get a lot of flower visits in one stop without having to spend energy flying from flower to flower. It can just come and sit on here and just collect uh, pollen and nectar for a long time. And even better, these flowers practice what's called heliotropy, which means they track the sun over the sky over the course of the day. So they're always facing the sun. So they're warm inside, which insects tend to like too. And then that warmth also helps the seeds of this plant develop. What we call a flower is made up of disc flowers and ray flowers. So the petals that you see sticking out are the ray flowers and the ones in the center are the disc flowers but each one of those is a complete flower it may not look like it these petals don't look like a complete flower but if you actually pull them apart and look inside you see all the parts of a complete flower these disc flowers in the center have an amazing strategy for making sure that they get pollinated so out of the center of each disc flower is a stigma that comes up and it splits and starts to open. This is the female part. The female part wants to receive pollen from the male parts brought by a pollinator that visits the flower and it opens up and that inner surface is a receptive sticky surface that catches pollen grains from visiting insects. So it comes up, it splits and opens up, creates a lot of receptive surface and opens more and more. And as soon as it's visited by a pollinator, it's done and everything dries up and falls off and goes to seed. But if no pollinator comes, it continues to open up more and more surface, hoping for a visiting pollinator. And if no pollinator comes, maybe it's a cold, windy spring and there's no insects flying or there's so many flowers out here that they don't get visited by an insect. If no one comes, it'll continue opening up reach down and touch its base, which is the male part of itself, which is releasing pollen, and it pollinates itself as a backup strategy. It's not ideal, you don't want to pollinate yourself, but it allows you to come to produce seeds and come back the next year with more seeds, and then you try again, and hopefully there's more pollinators the following year. So that may be one of the reasons why this is such a spectacularly successful group of flowers. Uh, balsam roots and sunflowers, and then the whole family composite. There's lots of species of composites. These are also a characteristic plant of this shrub step habitat out here, and they're long-lived perennials. They don't even produce their first flowers until they're about 10 years old. They have roots that are up to nine feet deep. Uh, so they're really investing in a long time uh, of life. And you'll see around the base of them, they have a dense clump of stems and the old thatch from previous years kind of creating their own compost pile. These are really a great reason to get out and celebrate the changing seasons and see some of this amazing color. Really an incredible flower. <music>